those years ago. Did you know that? <laughs> so you're going to So Sarah. Yeah. Alright. G'day everyone and uh, we're back for another little adventure today and I kind of did that big hike three day trek uh, with Matsy from the Swagman a few weeks ago so it's good to just come and do a little micro adventure, a little day adventure and uh, for Mickey's birthday, my good mate Mickey, we thought we'd come and um, explore some sand dunes and I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to tell you where we are but I'll, I'll let you know we're near the southernmost point of mainland Australia around that area so you can try and work that out yourself. Oh yeah, some amazing sand dunes here. We've got Ethan along with us for the ride as well. And we're going to have a very good cook up uh, pulled pork burgers up in the dunes. So it's going to be a good one. These are big banksias and they must be quite old to get to that size. That's beautiful. And we've had big storms all yesterday, all last night, even this morning, a lot of rain, but the sun is out now, it's beautiful. And I'm hoping if we're gonna find the, the little sand pools, it's gonna be on the daylight today. So, rumor is there's little pools you can swim in after it rains, so we're on a mission to find them. Hey man, wait for us oldies. You're too young and energetic. Hey Ethan, look ahead. What do you see over there? Sandy! Whoa ho ho! Have a look, Ethan. Keep going straight and have a look over the edge. What do you reckon? Not exactly a well-kept secret. These dunes are some of the biggest in Victoria. Though I'm always surprised how little people you'll find out here. It's easy to feel like this is a barren landscape. Yet the coastal dunes hold a lot of life and the surrounding areas are significant for hunting grounds for different animals and nesting sites for many coastal birds. You can get lost just staring at the patterns and artwork that the winds of time have created in the sands, and it truly is a remarkable wilderness. The dunes stretch for a few kilometres, and pretty soon you start to feel very isolated. Mickey looks like someone from Star Wars out in Tatooine. <laughs> it's so hard to kind of get a scale of how big this place is, but... It's just sand dune after sand dune after sand dune. It's staggering to imagine these mountains of sand being formed over the years by the blasting of ocean storms and winds. You can't help but feel like you're out in the desert. You turn your head towards the wind and blasting sand, and sure enough, the southern ocean looms on the horizon. Yeah, so I think it will set up a little base camp for the day um, just to get Ethan out of the wind. We might be getting some more storms, so it'd be nice to just get the tarp set up. Um, yeah, this is awesome. And if it does rain, hopefully we'll find those little pools because we've not been able to find them yet. But, and I've got sand pegs because obviously uh, the smaller pegs aren't going to do much. There we go. Not only this, but it kind of feels like a little kind of a desert Bedouin, what do you call the Bedouin tribes? 
Well, they kind of have these low tents, so it keeps us out of the sun. And you And on today's uh, menu, barbecue pulled pork burgers. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah, that's Whoa. it, mate. Chopping board. Chopping board. Chopping board. And to, <laughs> to carry out my cooking oil out here, the old cough syrup bottle. So. I did wash it out plenty clean, but who knows? We might be getting high off cough syrup. Do you like onion, Mickey? I'm a big fan of onion. Yeah, I love onion. I eat it raw, man. Yeah. Garlic. Garlic and onion first. Pork. Bit of salt. Pepper. Next up, we're going to cook up that halloumi. And I'm going to cook this up also with some uh, cabbage leaves from my garden. Alright! Ooh, it's still sizzling. <laughs> that sounds good. Look at that there. <laughs> Alright Mickey. <coughs> Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> <man>. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ethan, you're up next mate. This is very good. Get this on you. There you go. Alright, here's a taste test. Mmm, that's good. Cheers. All right, time to have a little bit of a lay down after lunch. Oh, out of the wind. There we go. Quite a view out there as well, I'll show you. Spend enough time out in the sun in the sand and you start locking into a sort of tranquil rhythm. No wonder peoples from long ago would be drawn to the dunes for spiritual pilgrimage. We were only out here for a day, certainly not 40 days and 40 nights, let alone 40 years, and already we were becoming more quiet, aware and in touch by the end of the day. Or perhaps we had just spent too much time in the sun with not enough water and sand being whipped into our faces. That's enough to humble any man. What did you discover out there, Ethan? He's silent, like a monk. You need water. <laughs> Come in in the shade and have some water. That was a big walk you did. Just chill, mate. We're all good out here. You right, mate? You look like a wombat. That is deep. 
all packed up, ready to go. You wouldn't have known anyone was here. And the wind will wipe away our sand prints very quickly. What a fantastic place for a day adventure. Sand dunes really are some of the most unique wilderness we have to explore out there. And as we finished up the day by our big ascent up one of the highest dunes, I almost felt like a mountaineer, scaling mountain ridge lines and peaks. And instead of white snow, we were surrounded by yellow sand. We certainly were well and truly tired by the end of the day. All right guys, that's it for this video. You can see Mickey and Ethan up on the ridge over there. We're about to head back. Unfortunately, we didn't find these pools. These are pools in the sand dunes that we hear are there. I mean, we, we had a lot of rain this morning and yesterday, but couldn't find anything. So they are meant to be there. We didn't find them this time, maybe another time. Hey, there goes Mickey down the dunes. But it was, it was just great to set up a little tarp, rest, have a cook up for the day. Great little adventure out here. Oh, we're buggered climbing these sand dunes, that's for sure. Uh, but otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give us a, a thumbs up and a comment. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. That'll be great. Have a good one, guys.